It's currently 9.27 p.m. in San Francisco. Tell me, Ichong, where did we visit today? Well, we went to Google. You went to Google? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. <gasps> we did go to Google. Alright, so today this, main, this whole talk is mainly to tell you about our experience in Google. So maybe you want to start off start with, with some first impressions? Well, when I first stepped into the Google campus, I actually found everything to be very, um, very open and very, and I could feel a whole lot of creative juices flowing to me just by being in the environment. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that you notice is this brilliant architecture of the office. I mean, it is brilliant, almost artistic. Um, I believe your post will have some pictures around here and whatnot so you guys can see. But anyway, moving on. Um, there was this thing I noticed everywhere. This is mode of transport that they use. They don't walk most of them. What do they use? Oh, they use the bikes. G bikes, right? Yeah, Google bikes. Really, really colorful, like the rest of the building and architect and the stuff inside the buildings. Yeah, I met one of our friends, Azim, for some time. He's still one of those. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now moving on. Um, what about we had, we had a tour guide, right? One of the software engineers. What was his name? His name was. Eugene. 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 Yes, Eugene. Eugene um, brought us around the, the Google campus. Um, he showed us what um, the Google community was all about. Yeah, employees, how they work, how they interacted. Um, all right. Um, he also um, shared with us some simple rules that employees follow. Let me check out, shall I? Okay. Um, I hope you read the rule book because I didn't. All right. The first rule, the fifteen rule. What is that? Oh, that one is quite interesting. It's actually where if you were to join Google, you'll be sure that after after how long? Three three months was it? After three months? Yes. Three after months. three months you will be sure to gain fifteen pounds because of the all the free food in the office. That's right, you heard you heard him say it. Free food from free Google food. for all employees. I'm actually quite surprised. At the end of three months of every Google employee, you're gonna gain fifteen pounds. Imagine how I look in fifteen pounds. Alright. Um, that leads us to our next rule, the 100 feet rule. What is that? Not wrong, it should be that every Google employee, no matter where you are in the building, will always be at the very most 100 feet away from any food point. And by food point, I think he means they actually place mini uh, kitchens around the building near every workstation. So when you're hungry, you just pop by, make yourself some coffee, bagels, crackers, whatever, you name it. And um, last but not least, I think this is the one that we got, another one that we got, um, the 80-20 rule. This is the one I like the most. Hmm? To, to do tell, what's it about? No, well, it's actually in, um, the rule actually states that 80% um, of a Google employee's time will be spent on doing his normal projects like uh, maintenance and upgrading whatever stuff that's already in infrastructure and another 20% is reserved for his own projects and whatever he wants to do which will benefit Google. So you can see that a lot of these Engineers actually allow their Google actually allows all of the creative juices of the engineers to flow and allow them to develop really really cool stuff that the world has never seen before. And also, yeah, um, it's this thing about the employees they they actually and have this strong sense of culture that, that Google and that, that Google cultivates. Um, one of the cultures was this open attitude they had, which was to in but everything they do they always always say that it's better to ask for forgiveness rather than ask for permission. Which yeah, you can do It's interesting because we were in the courtyard of the Google campus and we actually saw these giant sculptures out of the ground. I think one of them looks like a shark yeah, fin. Yeah, shark's fin. Well, apparently this Google employee, he got these sculptures from who knows where and they didn't find a place to put it. So he just left it in the courtyard and hoped that nothing gone wrong. Well, the next day, the facilities manager actually started asking around saying um, who was the one that actually brought these sculptures into the courtyard and saying that they really, really liked the, the sculptures in the courtyard. So it's, yeah, that's one example. Another example was how Google actually allows their employees to change their workspace as much as they like. Yeah, there's this one guy who actually brought an arcade An system. arcade machine. Yeah, so this guy, I uh, what's his name, he's anonymous, he brought an arcade machine that he didn't use, he, he bought it a long time ago. He bought it because he had nothing to do with his home, so he bought it into his Google office. Place it beside his, his um, cubicle. And then 
everybody all over Google started doing, doing, this, doing, doing the same. So yeah, I mean, can you imagine if that we had that in our, in our own home, I could just bring it. And there were also like pool tables around. Pool tables. Foosball. Yeah, foosball. Some really interesting games and stuff to de-stress. And the, and that's, I have to compliment their canteens. Those are really, those look very really nice. Amazingly designed. Oh, and you know about the Charlie's... Charlie's... Charlie's canteen. Yeah, I think. Can, no, it's Charlie's canteen. Sure. Any idea why what, what it was called Charlie? The one of their previous, no, the first chef. It was their first chef yeah. that came that worked at Google Camp. So, so they named it after him. They also had one cafe. I, f- I can't remember what the name was. It a Yosh Cup or something. I don't know. But so it, after it, a dog, right? Yes, they named one of the the the, 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 the VP's dogs, I think. And then they 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 were, the employees were so fond of the dog, and they decided to call that cafe and name it after his dog. And I think um, Eugene also pointed out that he actually. Uh, preferred the first name which was you remember what it was? Was it no name? The no name cafe. Yeah, cafe. yeah right. So yeah that that's uh, pretty much one of the fun, some of the fun stuff. Right. Other than that, I think um, we also um, a bit more serious side. We actually asked the Eugene why? What was Android about? Why did Google choose to work on Android when there were so many other platforms at the time of its beginning like iOS, Symbian? Symbian. Yeah, so do you remember what was his reasoning? Mm-hmm. He actually said that it was a part of Google's culture to open up everything and make everything open source, which was what Android was basically all about. Because they found iOS and Symbian to be very closed, closed operating systems, and they wanted something where everyone can just contribute in. Yeah, basically, the, um, according to him, what iOS and Symbian did was it was all closed and, con- and consumers couldn't really. A metal with it much, and they wanted. They felt that it was, uh, I quote, evil, and they said they could do great things without being evil, which is what they they claim Android to be today. And I think Android ate pretty far today, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, I think. Um, on the overall, did you enjoy your visit to Google? Yeah, there's one more thing actually. When he was talking about evil, um, the Google em- the Google employees actually interviewed some of their other employees as well, and it's quite interesting to note that these employees, in order to continue building a corporate culture and the whole name of Google, they actually hire people. They make sure they hire people that are better than them instead of people that are worse off than them. So you can see the kind of open environment that Google actually has, the campus and the kind of cultures that Google actually builds up with its employees. I guess it's one of those, I can't remember who, but I remember I heard it from someone. I think was it, um, no, I can't remember, but he's, uh, he, he, this, his ideology was this. He said that he is he he may no matter how smart one may be, he always understood that um, there's always going to be someone who's better. So as you grow old, you're not going to learn much anyway. So it's always best to surround yourself with the best, smartest people possible. Not just smart and best, but creative in your own way as well. Yeah. So do you enjoy your stay in Google? Yeah, Google? I did. I feel like working there next time. I wish. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, we'll be coming back to Singapore soon. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye bye.